Exodus 24, here God enters covenant with Israel and there is blood which is taken and sprinkled on the people. And Moses said, look, this is the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you. This is alluded to regarding the new covenant. The new covenant in which we stand was likewise, we are told, confirmed with blood, with the blood of Jesus. And when we break bread, we take the cup, which is the cup of the covenant that was confirmed in the blood of the Lord Jesus. So this gives you one window onto why Jesus died. Why did he shed his blood? God could save people any which way he desired. He is not a primitive pagan deity who needs to see red blood before he does something. The death of Jesus, the shedding of his blood, confirmed the covenant. The new covenant was actually the promises made to Abraham even before this time. The simple promise that I will be your God, you will be a blessing, I will bless you, you will inherit this earth forever, I give you the land forever, that means I shall resurrect you and it immortalize you. Eternal life. Yeah. The gospel, as Paul says, the gospel was preached to Abraham in the form of those promises which are the new covenant. That covenant was confirmed by the blood of Jesus. It's as if God is saying, I know how weak you are. I've spoken this, I've stated this, it's in my word. But just to get your attention, just to confirm it, in case there could be any doubt, I will give my son to die and his blood shall be the confirmation of the covenant. Just as here the blood was sprinkled on the people as the sign that they were now in the covenant. We are in covenant relationship with God and that is sealed by the Lord's blood. This is why Paul says in, in, in Hebrews that God gave us his promise and also an oath. As if it need, the promise needed any backup, but we were given it, that by two unchangeable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation and definite hope. God commended his love toward us, Paul says, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Did the love of God need any commendation? Did his covenant need him to confirm it with an oath as true? No. But we're so weak to get it that I will be saved. It's all true for me. That the Lord Jesus died to seal it with his blood. 